The Computer Man. Hello, welcome to Dan Computer Man. Today, in episode 33, I'm going to be showing you guys how to save your recorded video tutorials or whatnot from Camtasia Studio 6 in HD. So, the first thing you'll want to do in order to make this process work right is that you've got to make sure you have QuickTime. So, to do this, click on Start, go to All Programs, and make sure you have a folder that says QuickTime. If you do, then you're in luck. But if you don't, it's okay. You can go to your internet browser, go to apple.com forward slash QuickTime forward slash download, and press go. And just select QuickTime 7.6 for Windows XP or Vista. Uncheck these two boxes for the, their newsletters. Then just click free download now and follow the easy installation instructions. Then all you just gotta do is import your video that you've recorded and when you import it this project settings window will come up and you've gotta create some certain preset which I'll show you how to do right now so to do that just click produce video as and click on this drop down box here and click add slash edit presets click new name the preset YouTube HD click on edit click on MOV QuickTime Movie for a file format click next click QuickTime options go to video click settings and put the compression type to H.264 which it should be already set the frame rate to 30 frames per second keyframes automatic frame ordering have that on too under data, data rate keep it on automatic for the compressor quality, put it on best. And for encoding, put it on faster encode, which should be by default. Then once you have all the settings set, click on OK. Then go down to the size box. This is the most crucial part of getting your video into HD. You gotta make sure that you click on that drop down box and click on 1280 by 720 HD for the dimensions. And then don't check any of these because it'll mess up how your video looks on YouTube. Then go down to sound and click on settings. Have the compressor for the audio be MPEG 4 audio. Set the rate to 48 kilohertz. Size 16 bit. It should already be on that. For me, a is grayed out. And under use, where it says mono and stereo keep it on stereo obviously then click OK click OK and then I'll show you how to do the rest of the stuff later so I'm just gonna oh wait actually I still have to click on next then for the custom size it's the same resolution or just say it's same as the resolution that you recorded the video at when I asked you to set that setting when you import your video into Camtasia Studio on the, and onto the timeline and then click on next then click on finish and then I'm just gonna close the manage pre production presets and the production wizard and I'm just gonna show you what this video looks like hey guys this is just a little test video that's going to be put in HD to show you how you put a video in HD from Camtasia Studio 6 so I'm just gonna be opening up a personalized window here and stuff. So yeah, not too much, not too exciting of a video, but now here's where the good part comes in. To save it in HD, you need to click on Batch Production, Add Files or Projects, and then just select the file that you used. It can be in Camrec or Camprog. And I don't even know if it can be in video files either. Let me see. Uh, yep, it can. So you can even add just an ordinary video file. But I don't know how well it would work for that because 
you have to know a certain resolution that your camera records at. So enough about that. Now click on next. Select your preset, which you call YouTube HD. And I'm going to go through the settings just one more time to make sure you have them right. So to change these settings and make and or make sure they're right, click on preset manager, click on edit, make sure it's set to MOV, QuickTime Movie for the file format. And for the QuickTime options, under video settings, H.264 for compression type, 30 frames per second, keyframes automatic, frame reordering, data rate automatic, best quality for the compressor, and for the encoding, faster encode, click OK there, and for the size, 1280 by 720 HD, click OK, for the sound, click settings, compressor, MPEG-4 audio, rate, 48 kilohertz, size, 16-bit, and use stereo, then when you're done with that, click OK, click OK again, click on next, and make sure the width and height are the same as the resolution that you record at, for example, 1280 by 800, then click on next, and click on finish, click close here on the manage production presets, click next, and click finish. And then this rendering batch production window will come up, and depending on the length of your video, this may take like at least 30 minutes to an hour and most. Okay, so once the batch production wizard has rendered the video file and saved it, you'll see this one file here on your desktop. It should be in the QuickTime movie format, and it should show a little icon like this and say the title of your video. So I'm just going to open it up to show you what the HD format looks like. That's going to put it in full screen. Hold on. Hey guys, this is just a little test video that's going to be put in HD to show you how you put a video in HD from Camtasia Studio 6. So I'm just going to be opening up a personalized window here and stuff. So as you can tell, it looks very clear and it looks like as if you're just sitting right on my desktop on my computer. So that's just awesome. And as you've been noticing, for all my Dan and Computer episodes now, you'll notice a little thing in the bottom right corner that says Watch in HD. That's because I saved my videos from Camtasia Studio 6 in the HD format so I can get the clearest video possible. This is not happening with my videos recorded from my camera, such as my unboxing videos and stuff, because my camera doesn't have an HD option, but it does have a widescreen option. So sometime in the future, I'll be, I'll hopefully be getting a camera that supports HD recording. Thanks for watching, Dan Computer Man, and I hope you have a great day or night.